the number one New Year's resolution mistake. We're going to talk about that today. I'm Dr. Carrie Lam and this is Dr. Michael Lam. This is specifically for adrenal fatigue sufferers who are thinking, you know, should I make a New Year's resolution? We know that the number one um, goal uh, for everybody in the world is usually to try to lose weight. The gyms get packed in January and then somehow it kind of tapers off. But what do you think about this New Year's resolution of trying to lose weight for our adrenal fatigue sufferers? You know, the adrenal fatigue sufferers fall into a very special group of people who looks normal outside but internally is very weak. The body usually goes through the metabolic changes and consistent with the metabolic uh, components and the circuit derangement. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we notice is that uh, there's a tendency to gain weight. Of course, this is not welcome, especially with the holiday seasons that pass. Uh, the tendency is to get more weight on, and then, of course, the, the immediate uh, knee-jerk reaction is to try to get them off. And while this is a great for uh, normal people and healthy people, or even people with adrenal fatigue in the mild stages, uh, those who are weak or fragile has to be very careful before embarking on a weight loss program. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so why do you think that they should be careful uh, if they have adrenal fatigue or well, doing a weight loss? The, 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 the reason is quite simple. If you look at the body physiologically, uh, in a stressful environment, as far as the body is concerned, it wants energy. And the way it wants energy is to hang on to food particles, just like a polar bear. If the polar bear has to hibernate in order to survive through winter, it's going to hang on to its fat as much as possible. Now, in that process, you're still expending energy uh, for the polar bear, for example. So they lost a lot of weight, but they survived, so that's the key. So the body has that similar adaptive mechanism in that when, you, when the body sees you under stress, the first thing uh, the body tendency is to grab something sweet. Then it wants mm -hmm. to hang on to fat. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, potato chips, uh, fat, fatty type food, they're all welcome because this is what gives the body the, the energy reserve, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so when, when this is a contrary to what you want to do, then you have a problem. You know, the body wants one thing and you want another thing. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of people uh, who uh, want to lose weight when they're in adrenal fatigue and the body have a tendency not to allow them to do so. Keeping so everything. especially in the center portion mm -hmm. uh, because of the cortisol um, uh, receptors there. So there's a very specific metabolic process that goes on. It's not just about calories that you take in, you know, because you can, unless you go to a starvation diet, uh, many people with adrenal issues, especially in the advanced stages, if they try to lose weight, they can actually make the body's recovery much more difficult because if you don't have the substrate mm. from the uh, body's the fat, the cholesterol, the to nutrition make nutrition that it needs. The, correct, mm. to make the hormones, then how are you going to rebuild your body? Mm. So, you know, it's kind of a, a, a kind of a cash 22 situation. You want the body to be in good weight. At the same time, you do not want the body to go into excessive weight loss, which deprive the body of these substrates. And if you do it too much, you can go into what we call a catabolic state, uh, which is, uh, can be very uh, devastating. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, so the people who are at um, later stages of adrenal fatigue tend to be more catabolic than anabolic, meaning they start to burn everything and they actually have a lot of weight loss. But this is not, that's at later stages, right? Correct. But the, the, the key is to go at the root, understand what the body wants. You don't want to be overweight, but if you already have some weight management issue, you go with the flow, you focus not on the weight, but on the metabolism, the neuroendometabolic circuits, you heal the six circuits for the adrenal stress response. And guess what? As the body heals, automatically, you're going to be able to tolerate weight management much easier further down the road mm -hmm. and your body will reward you because for example you know right now when you try to lose weight by reducing calorie intake the body is hanging on in fact it will kind of flush it to the center portion but as you get better and you can go into a calorie restriction type program there's no need for the body to be opposing you so it just let go so the right thing then at the right time is mm -hmm. critical. And if you do the right thing at the wrong time, you can actually make your body worse and you can actually crash your system. So, you know, uh, it is so important to balance everything in a comprehensive way. Right. So every step of the way, your body get what it wants. And you don't want to hurry it uh, because this is not a short-term fix. You want the body to be able to self-heal 
over a yeah. long term. And, uh, and in addition to the diet, you have the people who are trying to exercise a lot, right? And some people with adrenal fatigue are not able to do the intense exercise that they go to the gyms and try to do because that cr- creates more stress on their bodies, right? Is that right? Well, exercise is a, is, a, a, is a very important component of the healing process. And yes, the, the proper exercise routine, given the nature of your state, will be very important. It can go together hand in hand. Even in our clients, we give them uh, very, very specific recommendations on exercises, mm-hmm. as well as uh, weight management at the right time, at the right place, in the right regimen. Mm-hmm. And we make adjustments because your body will change along the way. So what works for one month may not work for another month. Mm-hmm. So what are things that our adrenal fatigue people can focus on this New Year's instead of weight loss? Well, focus on learning. Uh, you know, you, you hear me say all the time, the key is for sustained recovery, you have to know what you're doing. And if you are committed to the knowledge and you're convinced and you understand the logic behind it, it will make your journey much easier. Don't do it because, you know, I say so or you say so, you know, because if it doesn't make sense, my uh, reply is always is don't do it. Do what makes sense to you. That has to come, uh, come number one. So always focus on the education. Understand there's a reason when I say to you no, it's so easy to just to say yes to you. Yeah, go lose your weight, you know, go take, take the credit. That's the easy part to do. Why would I take the time to tell you that, hey, in this particular situation, at this particular time, it may not be the best thing to do. And try to understand there's a rationale behind that, you see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this New Year's, just keep an eye out for all those ads. You do not want to um, just go for the quick weight loss if you're an adrenal fatigue sufferer. So mm-hmm. we hope you have a good New Year's, okay?